This strawberry bliss dessert is light as a cloud and delicious. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with the pastry that's a large saucepan over medium heat, placing one cup of water and one half cup of butter. You're gonna bring this to a boil and wait until the butter is melted. Once it's boiling, add in one cup of all-purpose flour and then begin to stir vigorously until you get a nice soft dough ball that forms. Now I'm not fast forwarding this and I'm not doing a jump cut so you can see the whole process and you can see just how quickly this comes together. So keep stirring vigorously until you get a dough that's going to pull away from the pan and it's gonna make a little dough ball in the center of your pot, as you can see right here. Once the dough is at this point right here, you're gonna remove it from the heat and then allow it to cool for about five minutes. Now it's time to beat in some eggs. You're gonna beat in four eggs, one at a time, and you're gonna beat after each addition. And as you go, you'll notice that the dough will start to change in texture. It'll get very shiny looking and more sticky and you can tell you're done when it is very very smooth and it actually starts to climb up the, the beaters as you're beating the mixture it's ready at that point all you have to do is spread it into the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish actually i think this is an 11 by 15. as long as it's a large baking dish and it's been greased spread your pastry dough out and then you're going to bake it at 400 degrees fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's puffed and golden. Now we're gonna make the delicious filling that goes in this. That's eight ounces of cream cheese. To that I'm adding one half cup of sugar, five tablespoons of jam, I'm using strawberry jam, and then beat these things together until they are smooth. Now it's time to add in some instant vanilla pudding mix. Now I put the pudding mix in the bowl and then I realized when I was looking at my recipe in the magazine that I found this in that the recipe wants a five ounce package of vanilla pudding mix. All I had was this three ounce package, which is a lot smaller. So I had to kind of improvise here. So the real recipe wants you to ask, add three cups of milk. I only added two to try to make up for the, the smaller pudding size. And when I blended it, it was pretty liquidy. And then when I went on to the next step, which is to beat one half cup of whipping cream until it is nice and thick, I actually beat a cup of whipping cream instead because I wanted to try to make up for that missing volume of the original pudding. Then you fold in the whipped cream to the pudding mixture. And then if your crust isn't completely cool at this point, put your filling in the refrigerator and just allow it to sit and cool. That's the finished crust that's been cooled and you can see it turned kind of a nice golden brown. It'll puff up really, really high when you're baking it and when you allow it to cool, it'll come down a bit. Fill up your crust with the filling that you've made and then sprinkle three cups of fresh strawberries over the top, cutting them in whatever size and shape that you prefer. Now this dessert still turned out great even though the filling maybe wasn't as firm as it could have been. Each piece that you cut is so nice and light and it's perfect after a heavy meal or if it's a really hot summer's day. I actually made this um, for a small family gathering I had and everybody loved it. Now I'm going to put the ingredient amounts for the filling from the magazine from the original recipe. That's what's going to be in the description box below. So I suggest you follow those. Now, if you can't find a large size pudding, the 5.1 ounce serving package, I suggest you use two of the small ones, the three ounce ones, and then just use exactly the same ingredient amounts as stated in the recipe and you should be fine. I have another recipe in my channel that uses fresh berries. And this is no bake except for the crust and it's really very good and very light as well. It's a fresh berry pie. If you wanna see this recipe, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the links in the description box. There will also be a little eye on your screen. If you hover your cursor, you can find that recipe this way as well. Thanks for watching.